Yo, what is going on, guys? Hope you're having a good Monday so far. I'm sure you've heard Joe Biden has officially stepped down for the presidential ticket on um, the left side coming this November, and Vice President Kamala Harris is taking his place. We all knew it was coming. It was going to happen. I mean, after watching the first debate, what a mess by him. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I think a lot of people saw this coming. It's the best decision for our country. As you could tell, something was going on, whether it was Alzheimer's, dementia, something needed to happen, and here it goes. Good afternoon. I'm Rachel Scott at ABC headquarters here in New York. We are coming on the air at this hour with breaking news. President Biden has just announced that he is ending his reelection bid. Just moments ago, the president tweeted out, it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my. I mean, look, let's be real here. The past three to four years have been scary to say the least illegal border crossings the economy inflation stock market real estate market groceries i mean people in the middle class there really isn't a middle class anymore you're either high class upper class or you're in the low class right people are having trouble paying their rent paying for groceries paying for gas Credit card debt has gone up astronomically in the past couple years because of the problem we're facing today. And I'm, I don't get too much into politics. I just want someone who does the best for our country, whoever that is. And unfortunately, Joe Biden, I believe, has not done the job. So for him to be in there another four years with whatever's going on upstairs would be scary to think about, to say the least. My decision. There are still so many questions yet to be decided and so little time before those questions need to be figured out. So I wanna go right away to our chief Washington correspondent, John Carl. John, we are just 100 days out from the November election. Pressure was building on the president to step aside. Now he is announcing that he has. Rachel, it's an extraordinary moment in American history. This is the first time we have seen a sitting president bow out of re-election since Lyndon Baines Johnson in 1968. Wow. And it, it comes, unlike Johnson's move, which happened in January of that year, it comes after he has already gone through a primary process, after he has already effectively won the Democratic nomination. They have like two or three months. Which now raises the huge questions, as you allude to, of what happens next. In his letter announcing this extraordinary decision, he mentions his vice president, Kamala Harris. He, he, he says, I want to thank my vice president, Kamala Harris, for, her for being an extraordinary partner. But he makes no reference about what he will do in terms of an endorsement. Will he endorse? Will he not endorse? Will there be an open process? What happens next? He says we, he will talk to the nation in the coming days more about his decision. But, but now the Democrats have to figure out what happens, who replaces Joe Biden as the Democratic candidate for president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's scary. 